following presentation of the National Football League. Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone, in Super Bowl 59 from the Big Easy. New York will be pitted against the Dallas Cowboys, who won the NFC East with a record of 10 and 6. Just one game back of the Jets, who finished at an 11 and 5 mark this season. Dallas was the winner of last season's Super Bowl, but had a vastly superior roster a year ago. Both of these teams have outstanding defenses that most likely will test the opposing offense to play at a very high level and mistake free in order to put points on the board. Dak Prescott will have the rushing title winner from this season behind him in Ezekiel Elliott. And I would think that he's going to play a very big role in tonight's game. Dak also has his favorite target from this season, Amari Cooper, which could be significant in the passing attack. A very strong offensive line should give him plenty of time to make decisions unless the Jets D can put some pressure on him, that is. The Cowboy defense has plenty of talent as well. Demarcus Lawrence has been a dominant feature this season and can be a very disruptive force from his left-hand position. Byron Jones and Jadobi Awuzie at cornerback will have Donald thinking twice about throwing to the outside. And then you have the likes of Jalen Smith in the middle of the field so that's why I think the offense will have to bring their A game if they plan on walking away with another Lombardi trophy. The best of the NFC against the best of the AFC should produce a game that has plenty of excitement. Dallas has won the coin toss and has decided that they want the ball first. I have to wonder about that decision since normally you want the ball to start the second half but we'll see if that yields a result they plan on or not. Can the Jets' defense hold up tonight? And if so, will the rushing game of the Jets take center stage, or will they have to rely on the passing attack behind the arm of Sam Darnold to win them the Super Bowl title? Let's find out as the Jets take on the Cowboys for the Lombardi Trophy in Super Bowl 59 here in New Orleans here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Kenyon Drake is back deep for the Cowboys and Trent Lyon gets us underway in the Super Bowl. He takes a knee in the end zone and the Cowboys will have the ball first and 10 at the 25. Out comes Dak Prescott and trying to lead these Cowboys to another Super Bowl win. And the first play, Blake Cashman takes down Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. A three-yard loss. And on second down, the same thing happens. Uh-oh. An injury to Demarcus Faulkner, and he's on the sideline. He may be okay. We'll have to see if he returns to the game soon. And pass over the middle complete. To Marcus McCollum, but he is shy of the sticks. So out comes Darnold and company for their first stab at the end zone. And Jackson goes up the middle to the 36. Has a five yard gain. And they give it to him again. And he spins his way for a first down up to the 42. And it's given to Jackson. They are running heavily. And a flag on the play. Kaysen Shropshire is guilty of holding. And that backs up the Jets' 10. John Ross makes that reception out of the 47. Donald drops back. Completes this one out to Thomas. And he doesn't get anything on that play. So third and six. Again, Darnold drops back, and it's incomplete intended for Arsenault on the right side. 
That means the Cowboys will get it back after a nice punt by the Jets. They have it at their own eight yard line. Prescott is tackled for a safety. Ja'Kai Polite gets him in the end zone and New York takes the early lead two to nothing. You can see on the replay Prescott trying to set up for a throw and it's just too late. Ja'Kai Polite is there to make the tackle and after the punt, the Jets have it at the 35 and it's to number 35, Jackson up the right side and a seven yard gain. Again, Jackson takes it for the first down out to the 49 yard line. You're inside, just inside Cowboy territory. This one goes to Jacobs. Only a two yard gain on that one. So on third and eight, Darnold drops back and throws complete to Jackson inside the 35 yard line for the first down. Donald back again and completes this one to Arsenal for another first down to the 22. Second and eight now. Jacobs is stopped in the backfield by Demarcus Lawrence. A one yard loss that brings up third and nine. Donald back to pass. Throws complete to Ross. Touchdown Jets. Donald finds Ross running up the left side and gets it just over the top of Howard Ash and into the end zone. Ross goes for the first touchdown of the game capitalizing on that safety and is now nine to nothing Prescott from the 25 yard line throws complete Amari Cooper for the first down out at the 39 yard line the give is to Elliott and who else but Blake Cashman Gets him in the backfield. A four yard loss. And that brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score nine to nothing. Third and 13. Prescott back to pass. Completes it to Elliott and he is up the left side all the way to the 49 yard line of the Jets and a first down. They give us to Elliott again, and he's out in the open. 10-5, touchdown, Dallas. An injury to Harvey Gabriel, which I think he's going to be okay. He's on the sideline being attended to. So we'll, hopefully we'll see him back in the game. The Jets from their own 25-yard line complete to Arsenal on the right side to the 38. Up the middle goes Jackson. He's to the 45 for an eight yard gain. Darnold drops back, throws complete to Arsenal coming off the left side. And he's all the way to the 39. And Jackson takes it again up the middle for a seven yard gain. Again, Jackson getting some yardage here in the first end of the first half. And Herndon has the first down catch at the 14 yard line. The Jets working their way down the field pretty effectively. Now third and eight. And that is knocked away. Ha ha, Clinton Dix gets a paw on it and that brings out Trent Lyon for a 29 yard field goal and it's up and good. 12 to seven is your score. And just before the half, the Cowboys need to score again. And 
Prescott goes down in the arms of Demarcus Faulkner. An eight yard sack back to the 20 yard line. Prescott throws a wide receiver screen out to Ethan Williams and he is out and out of bounds at the 33. Third and five and Prescott goes down again. Ethan Goodman making it home and getting him back at the 25. That brings us to the two minute warning. And there you have Justin Jackson. Nine rushes, 43 yards, 4.7 yards per carry. And they need to use him a little bit more. And that one is complete to John Ross across the middle. Out to the 49 yard line. And Jackson out of the backfield. Takes it to the 45 of the Cowboys. Darnold back to pass, and he is taken down by Lawrence. And that brings up third and 15. And once again, he is sacked. And with 45 seconds left, they're going to have to give it back to the Cowboys. Tristan Griffin fields the ball. And uh oh. Joey Sanders is down for the Jets and being escorted to the locker room. That could spell trouble for the running game. Prescott over the middle to Elliott. Out to the 24-yard line. A pass out to Cooper. Doesn't get the first down and the Cowboys decide to take it to the half. Your score, 12 to seven. The Jets are on top. Now for a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat, baby. This has turned out to be a very defensive first half of play here in the Super Bowl. Despite having a 49 yard touchdown run to get Dallas on the board, Ezekiel Elliott has been held in check on every other play, netting only 44 yards in the first half. Something that may impact the running attack of the Jets for the rest of the game is the injury to center Joey Sanders. He suffered a dislocated shoulder and will be out for the rest of the game. Taking his place in the lineup will be Kevin Lawrence. He has been pulling double duty as the backup right tackle as well. So the Jets have to hope for no more injuries to the O-line. Breaking news, everyone. Retired quarterback Tom Brady has a verbal commitment to join the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I guess he just missed the game a little too much to stay retired. It'll be fascinating to see if he can bring the Bucs to the Super Bowl next season. For now, let's get you back to the action as the Cowboys try to make a comeback to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Welcome back to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for our continued coverage of Super Bowl 59. The Jets have scored on a safety, sacking Dak Prescott in the end zone, and the Cowboys' Ezekiel Elliott broke a long touchdown run. But other than that, it has been the defenses that have put on the show in the first half. Are we in for more of the same? or can either team make a solid move to win the Lombardi Trophy? Let's find out as we continue our coverage here in New Orleans. The Jets start out at their own 27 yard line. Donald hands off to Jackson, up the middle he goes and he's to the 34 before he's tackled again. Jackson, and he is taken down by Hill in the backfield. Jackson just had nowhere to go. So third and five. The screen pass to Jackson, taken down by Tracy Barr for a five-yard loss. And the Jets are going to have to punt this one away. Olsen has it blocked. And the Cowboys pick it up and return it all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. 
Olsen had to regrip the football and it was blocked by Xavier Woods, picked up by Anthony Butler and returned into the end zone for the touchdown. The Cowboys going for two. The pass out to Alexander White and into the end zone. A two point conversion is good. And it's now 15 to 12. The pass complete to Ross over the middle, first down. Jackson goes up the middle and he gets out to midfield before he's tackled. Third and inches. Wesco picks up the first, keeping the Jets offense on the field. From the 44, Jackson bounces it outside to the left and is finally tackled at the 44, a five yard gain. Third and five and oh, that is almost intercepted. Tracy Barr jumping that route and after a Cowboy three and out. The Jets have it again. This time at their own 32 yard line. Screen pass to Jackson. He's out to the 36 yard line. Third and four. Jackson in the backfield. Darnold drops back. It's complete over the middle to Chris Herndon. First down at the 48 yard line. Jackson in the backfield again, another pass upcoming. And this is complete to Arsenault on the right side, all the way to the 40 yard line. Ross over the middle, complete. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter with the Cowboys in the lead, 15 to 12. Jets on the move. Inside the 20 yard line is Jackson with that carry. Second and two. Jackson with another carry. He gave him the first down. I wasn't so sure about that one. And Jacobs up the middle to the nine yard line. Now third and two. Jackson makes a cut and is down to the one. How did he not get in the end zone with that one? 17 carries, 77 yards, and Wesco is denied. May have lost about a half yard on that. Gerard Royal making the stop. And on third and goal, Wesco powers his way across the goal line. Touchdown, Jets. Nice little celebration in the end zone. And the Jets go up with a score of 18 to 15. Trent Lyon will come on to try and make it a four point lead. And this is no good. The score remains 18 15, just a field goal separating these two teams. Prescott over the middle, completes it. Tight end Jacob Wilson makes the grab. Prescott out of the shotgun, drops back. Hits Wilson again, and did he get the first down? No, they're going to mark him about a yard shy. Elliott up the middle. He has the first down. Prescott again throws. Complete to Wilson, and he has the first down and out of bounds at the 43. He didn't get out of bounds, but he, oh my goodness, he catches it over the middle, and he races into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dallas making excellent use of those button hook pass routes. Goodman just couldn't catch up with Williams, and it was all the way into the end zone. He goes for the go-ahead touchdown. 22 to 18, the screen pass to Jackson, gets out to the 34-yard line. Third and three, 
Donald drops back, passes over the middle. Arsenault first down to the 42 yard line. And that brings up the two minute warning. The Jets have to get this into the end zone or else this game is over. The pass complete to Howard to the 47 yard line. Jackson up the middle and he goes down to the 43 yard line. A four yard game. They need to cover some real estate and this one is intercepted by Howard Ash. A minute and nine seconds left. And I'm sure all the Cowboys would have to do is get a first down and this one might be over. Prescott hands off to Elliott up the middle gets a couple timeout Jets again Elliott up the middle and they seem very content just running it up the middle and Elliott is taken down in the backfield by Marcus May the Jets get it back 48 seconds left. The throw goes to Howard and it's intercepted. Awuzie takes it away after the pop-up by Howard and this, I would say this one is probably over now. Dallas in the victory formation. And they take Super Bowl 59 away from the Jets. Oh, I, I just don't know what to say, folks. Too many Jets mistakes cost them a third Lombardi trophy tonight. A couple that with some big plays by the Cowboys. Yeah, Darnold. He is absolutely exhausted and perplexed by his performance tonight. The fact that he just had an awful night and makes the Dallas Cowboys repeat Super Bowl champions. The Jets lost the ability to move a very strong Cowboy D-line and make holes for Jackson and Jacobs to run through, it just didn't happen. That meant depending on Darnold's passing finesse, <laughs> and as we just witnessed, he just didn't have it tonight. Lots of congratulations going on down on the field, and the Cowboys hoist the Lombardi Trophy for the second year in a row. The trophy being passed around between a bunch of the Dallas Cowboys, but I have to say Dak Prescott kept this team together, allowing the Cowboys to get the victory here in Super Bowl 59. If you take a look at the team's stats, the thing that really stands out is the time of possession. The Jets had the ball over two and a half times times more than did the Cowboys and still they couldn't prevent Dallas from making the big plays that finally won them the game. The Jets defense held Elliott in check the entire game minus his 49 yard scamper for a touchdown allowing him only a total of 49 yards for the entire game and just five yards on the ground in the second half. I just wish that the offense was on the same level as the defense and there would have been no stopping New York from achieving most anything they wanted to this season. This year brought what I felt were the most changes that the Jets put in place. The restructuring of the O-line made it a much stronger unit and allowed for a running attack that hadn't been part of the New York game in prior years. In the passing game, Darnold was just a little too reckless with the ball at times, 
and throwing into places that never should have been tried and paying the penalty for doing so like he did tonight. It's unfortunate that the Jets couldn't finish off this season with a win in the Super Bowl because this will bring the Jets franchise to a close. My first franchise in the modern Madden era, we had a good run of seven seasons. I also had Browns and 49ers franchise in the modded version of Madden 2008 that lasted a good number of seasons as well. But the time has come to update Madden again, and I'll be starting a fresh franchise in Madden 22. There are a number of mods that are available at present that will make the game much more realistic and fun, I think. If you're interested in modding Madden 22, please join us on our Discord on the Madden Modding Community Server. The time that I've spent developing my Jets franchise has been outstanding, and the commentary of Husker Eurocat will be back with a new team. I just haven't determined what team that will be yet, but rest assured it will be a team worthy of a rebuild effort. That's going to do it for the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Unfortunately, the Jets couldn't end on a high note with a Super Bowl win, but New York was able to make it to the playoffs in six of its seven season run. The AFC Championship game four times, as well as the Super Bowl twice, taking home the Lombardi Trophy once during that time. Will the next franchise be as successful? Stay with us because that new franchise should be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>